You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Rome back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. Man, and why do it, and why does it seem like we've heard this story before? Now I know uh Rebecca Lynn Pope, she was a matchmaker that gave up on women a while ago. But I don't think this is the first time we've heard of a woman complaining about being rejected by a matchmaker because her standards are like just too unrealistic. So let's see what this woman had to say, man. Let's keep it moving. Wouldn't be able to work with me. When we met, I told her what I was looking for and told her a lot about me. And I tried to highlight some of my core qualities including the fact that I'm very, very type A, I'm organized, I like to be the leader, what are the types of things that I like doing. I also told her I was looking for a man who was also a leader because I don't want to always be the leader, believe it or not. I told her... You lose. See how she's already contradicting herself. I'm willing to bet when that matchmaker heard you contradict yourself just now, she was probably thinking, oh, hell nah, I am not about to introduce you to any of my male clients. They are, no, you are going to be a headache for those guys. Do women have any options left? Did y'all hear that, bruh? I am type A. I like to be the leader. Um, but my man, I want my man who's also a leader because I don't see this is the typical i'm successful i want a man that's on the same level as me but i want a man that's an alpha who's a leader but i don't want him to, i don't want him telling me what to do because i'm a leader too like i'm telling you man these kind of women are going to be nothing but a headache because it's going to be a constant clash of who controls the relationship Run away from women like this. Run! Go! Get to the chopper! Keep it moving. I told her I was looking for someone that was at or above the same income level as me, driven, who is ambitious, who is ready for a long term relationship and ready to get married. She may. Now. It's funny because I just went over to some old bio situation. Notice this woman says she wants a man at her level or above. Hypergamy. You can't sit over here and get mad at men knowing their worth when all of y'all want a man that's at your level or above you. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> Oh my God, especially when we all know that if you switch the genders, women aren't going to have an issue with hearing other women say that shit. And, it, and, and, and that woman can be average looking as hell and broke. I mean, hell, the woman here in this clip is, very, is pretty average looking. Let's keep it moving. Picked up on the fact that I'm a little high strung. I'm not like a stressed out or anxious person. I'm just high energy or type A. This is who I am. And she was asking me, do I meditate? No. Do I journal? No. Do anything woo? And I said, no. So in fact, I'm not even on the same planet as woo. When talking about what I didn't like, in a man, I said I could never really be with a beta type man. I specifically use the word doormat said I would chew them up and spit them out. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. And here's the problem. Because you want to be a leader, those are the only kind of men that you're going to be able to come across because those are the only type of men that are going to put up with you. Because the kind of men that you say you want, they're not going to put up with a woman who wants to wants to leave the relationship too. So that's, that's the dilemma that she's going to run into. 
and the matchmaker probably recognized that too which is probably why the matchmaker rejected you let's keep it moving her response was well i married that type of man he was saying that you know men really like a soft woman and i should try some of these vision board journaling meditating type of things whatever it be that type of person she also said that she could sense I had some walls up, which of course I'm coming to meet a woman who I'm asking to find my future husband at the rate of several thousand dollars. I, of course, I'm going to be here really just trying to interview you, my dear friend, because I want to know if I'm going to get my money's worth with you. So of course I'm going to have some walls up. I also think it's perfectly normal to have some walls up when you are meeting someone for the very first time and who also had not taken the time to do her own research on me by stalking me on the internet. She definitely didn't have time because she asked for my socials no more than one hour before our meeting. So I asked her if she thought I would be ready for her services, her response, she essentially said that I am not ready for her type of services because I have too much work to do. My walls are too high and I'm not ready for a long-term committed relationship at the ripe age of 38 where I've been in therapy for 10 plus years. Hey, wait a minute, what the hell? You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Y'all heard it. 10 plus years? <laughs> you serious? Okay. For y'all that don't know or are new to the channel, she's the same age as me. I'm 38. 10 years of therapy. 10 years of therapy. And you, this is the conclusion that you've come up to. You think that go, how you're going about the date market, you really think this is going to work after 10 years of therapy. I would love to meet this woman's therapist because this woman's therapist is probably a feminist, man. Because if y'all, because if y'all haven't um, heard, man, a lot of these therapists are feminists, man. And they're just pandering to women. I'm like, remember the video that I did about the woman who held a woman accountable? Every time she held a woman accountable, they wanted to quit taking therapy. So whoever her therapist is, I can I can tell you right now, 10 years, that, th that therapist was coddling you and telling you everything that you wanted to hear so they can keep making money off of you. At least this matchmaker was nice enough to say, hey, look, you know, this is a business. I could just swindle you and finesse you and make money off of you and tell you what you want to hear, but you really ain't ready for this. You know what I mean? So kudos to her for that. Let's keep it moving. She also said that I, she's too woo for me, which I can accept that that's fine. However, I shouldn't need to be a woo type person to be worthy of love. She also said that I need to soften a little bit and men like a softer woman. Essentially I spent $350 to meet with this woman, have her tell me I am not worthy of love as I am, but the fact that I need to change in order to be worthy of love and partnership, which on the she didn't say worthy, she said ready. Worthy and ready are two completely different things. See, don't twist a person's words to make it fit your narrative because you don't like what she said about you. Let's keep it moving. Honestly, I think for that reason alone, she should have her matchmaking license taken away because we shouldn't be pushing on these narratives that people are not worthy as they are. And essentially telling women that they, the type of woman they are isn't worthy of love. That is a narrative that should not be given to anyone. It is dangerous commentary. And the fact that she said this to my face had some audacity. Well, we're celebrating my 38th birthday tonight. And we are going to wash all of what she said aside. I am so excited. And we're going to believe that no matter the type of woman you are, love is out there for you. We are not going to listen to this toxic narrative ma'am you 38 <laughs> she don't look 38 to me i'll let you guys have that in the comments man because you know youtube is very sensitive nowadays and i'm trying to cut back on my roast 
But I want you guys to check out these comments, man, because apparently this woman is just Delulu because it seemed like everybody agree with my sentiments when it came to comments man check this out from the very first one girl there's a reason why you had to pay someone to try helping you find a husband in the first place dead emoji <laughs> not everyone is worthy of love show all your first dates this video <laughs> Bruh, if she shows all her first dates this video, man, those first dates won't, she won't be able to finish those first dates. <clears throat> Next one, you can't be a leader and want a leader. An alpha man was a soft woman, and that comment was left by a woman. Yeah, shout out to Siona. Next comment, she didn't say you weren't worthy. She said you weren't ready. Thank you. I said the exact same thing. I'm like, see, I'm like, dude, women will do that. See, that right there lets me know that you're not ready. You're being narcissistic. You're being narcissistic with your own damn. Uh, well, let me take that back because narcissistic is probably not the correct term. But you're twisting your own matchmaker's words. To fit your narrative while you over here talking about some we need to we need to get rid of this narrative Re mean, meanwhile you over here trying to create your own you over here creating a false narrative off of, uh, you know what i mean off of false words check this out matchmaker you're a walking red flag you actually i'm perfect and everyone should like me no matter what yeah that's basically what she's saying because notice she said nah they, they should we should be worthy of love as we are right but the kind of man that you want repel women like you they can't stand women like you like you're gonna end up with guys that are a little bit more Beta. that's just what it is all she was trying to do was say, hey, the kind of man you want, these are the kind of women that they really want. You're not it. That's all she was saying, but you wasn't trying to hear it. And then the next one, when the matchmaker sees red flags, perhaps it's time for therapy. Well, I don't know if you I don't know if you remembered or maybe you need to watch this video again. Um, Vanilla Belt 311. But this woman has 10 years worth of it. 10 years worth of it. And obviously it ain't helping. And honestly, whoever her therapist is, is really just pandering to her and telling her what's, what she want to hear so that way she can keep making money off of her. Therapy ain't supposed to be something, ain't supposed to be a crutch. It's supposed to be something that's supposed to help you fix whatever your issues are. Damn, I'm like, I learned that from Kevin Samuels. He said that himself. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this, man. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification. That way y'all know what I'm uploading. Hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm and helps me reach a broader audience. Also, look out for the Travel Vlog channel. Unplugged Traveler link is in the description. As well as my latest mixtape, Neo Trap Volume 2. And if you want to purchase any of the merch, Spreadshot.com link is in the description. Until the next video, y'all. Deuces.